Yes, yes. You hit the power of course to Mr. Quackers. Grand. Cause I hit him too. I am a unicorn. I'm a unicorn. Oh my god. I'm a unicorn. Unicorn. So anyways, this tutorial is going to be him from Powerpuff. I posted this on Facebook. Back a buck. Back a buck. Facebook. Back a buck. Facebook. Facebook. Recently. It is my personal one and well one of my friends told me to like do uh, this look and so the purpose of this was originally I just like the power of girls so anyways I am doing one of my favorite characters and it's a lot so yeah enough done let's get started so first things first I'm going to be using a red lip with uh, the red in the bed and I bruise wheel. Now here we go. I'm going to stop here for a sec because I just forgot one of the most important things. I forgot to block my eyebrows out. If you don't know how to block your eyebrows, I'll show you. So you just get your glue stick. Uh, it has to be a washable glue stick. It, it depends what kind of coverage you want to do. If you want to do a say one where you like you're using latex and you're blocking out your eyebrows, you want to you want to use a more other methods. But if you're using something for like you need to hide your eyebrows, like what I'm doing. This a glue sticks perfectly fine and it will do the job per grand. So you just want to smudge the entire glue stick on your eyebrow like so. You just want to make sure that the whole eyebrows in general are flat and that that's pretty much it for the eyebrows. You just want to make sure that they stay flat and the glue like presses it then tire all the hairs and everything down so if one coat isn't good enough you can apply two coats or probably three if you have like I don't know okay so anyway now you just gotta let it dry Finally, they were done drying. Okay, so I just got like um some white concealer so that way the dark hairs would get hidden by that if you can understand what I mean because it would show up still if you just did that because it's transparent glue. So I did that. I I matched it to my skin color and did everything else and yeah.
so at this part, I just covered my entire eyebrows with red. I had to stop using the lip, and I went to the bed and eye red for this eye. They were the exact same color, so it was good for me. Not so good if they didn't match for you, sorry. Just make sure they match. Um, yeah, I just blended out everything, made sure that it all went onto my face evenly, and made everything look good. So that way you could like not see my eyebrows and I would just look like a red tomato. I was a tomato unicorn. Tomato corn. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw powder at my face and then I'm gonna clean up that and like and then I'm just gonna throw more powder after cleaning that up. Then I'm gonna regret doing that and clean up my face again. Uh, I, I just set it and I tried to get all the powder out of my shirt, but there's still powder in that shirt. I'm gonna have to wash it, but yeah. So yeah, make sure that you clean it off. Now I am using a black eyeliner to color in my eyebrows. His eyebrows are relatively thin and his straight up lines and they go straight up above his forehead so there's not much to say about that so now I'm getting a white and I'm making I'm getting a white and if we all know how colors are made white and red make pink so I'm putting white on the apples of my cheeks to make him's little circles and now I'm applying a black lipstick onto my lips. I am making sure that I get everything and that I try to overdo the Cupid's bow because that's how he seems to look. I'm also getting some brown and doing the sides of my nose. And if you can tell, it, it kind of came out pretty good making the, my nose look a little bit more thinner because him is straight up a pointy pointy character and right now if you can't tell I am coloring in my waterline and also putting on mascara and putting on eyeshadow and stuff as you can tell I did not get it perfect the first time and I was in a rush and now I'm lining my lips with a black eyeliner just so that way everything stays more in that neatness and now I am elongating that to make the more pointed thing it's similar to winging out an eyeliner hey what do you know <laughs> so anyways this is me just applying the eyeshadow on the other eye and then I realized I wanted to make it more him instead of more natural so I'm making the eyeshadow more bigger on this eye than on the other eye if you can't tell yeah see I am changing that eye to more him and then I realized what am I missing what am I missing I am missing the fact that I am a rounded face and him is literally a triangle <laughs> Anyways, I am contouring the sides of my face, like the jawline, so that way it's more pointed and elongated, and you can't, like, and it makes it look more feminine, I guess, and I also did this on both sides, trying to make it as even as humanly possible. And now I'm blending it down my neck so that way you just don't see a harsh line on my face. I also blended this down on the other side as well. I also went behind the ears a little bit so that way if I turn my head one way you'll, see, you'll still see the shadowing and stuff. And then right now... What what's him without his little goatee? So I'm drawing his little triangle goatee on his chin, and I'm drawing his little black widow's widow's peak, whatever that's called. I don't I don't know 
this terminology and stuff, I'm taking my hair out. And, well, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and support my channel by sending it to other people, sending links to people, because I would appreciate it so much. Yeah. Bye.